Hey, good afternoon everyone, it's Corey here. Today we're gonna to be doing a walking video, so you guys can expect this video to be between 45 minutes to an hour long. And uh, with all of my walking videos, you guys know that uh, at any point in time, uh, you can stop the video, you don't have to watch the entire video, and then you can you know, come back to it in a, uh, at a future time. And as with all of my videos, please feel free to ask comments and questions down below. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability and um, yeah, so uh, there's one thing I wanted to mention um, before we start the walk. We've reached 70,000 subscribers, guys. 70,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, the cool thing about this is that we've reached the 70,000 uh, milestone on the seven year anniversary of my channel. So we've been doing this for seven years and we've reached 70,000. So that's cool, kind of cool, seven, seven. And um, also, this happened to take place, you know, just a few days before my birthday so it's kind of like a pre birthday a little early birthday gift and i'm i'm like so stoked uh so anyways guys thank you so much for the support all of that stuff um you know like the video subscribe to the channel it all it all helps me out so uh we're gonna um start the walk here uh what are we gonna do well i'll tell you while we walk yeah so as we start the walk we're in front of this cool house here this is their little like parking area but look at this. I like I like the fact that there's you know some beautiful flowers and then the vines kind of just go up the side of the house. And uh check out that sky guys. Beautiful clear skies, nice and blue. Uh it's about mm, 22 degrees Celsius. It's about like 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a really nice day and this is one of the last days that it's going to be like this, you know, where I can wear a t-shirt and shorts and some flip-flops and go for a nice little walk with you guys. So um, yeah, we're, we're expecting one of the strongest typhoons this weekend on my birthday, on October 12th, to uh, hit directly in the Kanto area, the, the Tokyo region. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, kind of weird, but um, I think after that, it's just gonna get uh, a lot cooler with the weather. It's not gonna be so hot and uh, we'll be entering like the fall season. I mean, we already technically are in fall. Today's October 9th. But uh, yeah, it's it, it feels like summertime right now. Uh, so yeah, anyways, guys, today we're going to walk through a forest. That's right. Um, we're, uh, I don't know the exact name of this neighborhood, but we're not far from my house in the Matsudo area. And down this road there's like a, a small forest and stuff that I wanted to show you guys and uh, eventually we're gonna end up at a shrine that's uh, nestled in a bunch of bamboo it's um, pretty cool I've never actually been to the temple itself or I should call it a shrine because I think it's a Shinto shrine but yeah we'll see when we get there and uh, it's it's in the middle of like a like a bamboo grove it's so beautiful so yeah just wanted to show you guys uh, some quieter parts of my area. And this is, you know, like reason number 7,804 of why I like living outside of Tokyo. It's very quiet, it's super serene, there's nature, and it's just, it's just all around awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and start walking <laughs> start pick up uh, start picking up the pace but um, we're, we're still in like I guess the suburbs this is just kind of more of a like a nature-esque part of the suburbs um, down here where I live there's a lot of uh, hills and you know that kind of stuff with forests and uh, you know just not far from here there's just like a ton of farmland rice paddies and other stuff so um, yeah, I just, I love just getting out of my house and uh, walking and exploring these kind of areas. It's so quiet. It looks like someone's parking area. Hey, they've got a basketball hoop here. Yeah, nice and chill. Oh, and there's mosquitoes. I'm being eat I'm being eaten alive right now. Yeah, uh, 
so this is a garbage sorting area for, I guess, this like apartment complex right here. But uh, look at that, they got like CDs on the side. And then they've got these water bottles. Do you see the water bottles on the side? And then over here, there's even one with the cat on it, a little cat's head. Um, why do they put this out here? They believe that these water bottles um, keep cats away. And I guess the, the CDs are to keep birds out or something. I've seen people use that on the, you know, like a farm field or a garden to keep birds out. And uh, you see the water bottle thing quite often in Japan. And uh, I don't know if it works, but you know, my assumption is that light is refracted through the water bottle and it somehow it like does something to the cat's eyes and they don't like it. So they just kind of stay away. That's just my assumption. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't even know if it works, but yeah. Uh, oh. I came through here a few days after the last typhoon that hit uh, the Tokyo area. It was super strong and a lot of these trees were were felled. They were knocked over, but it looks like uh, yeah, there was a tree laying across here. Um, here's part of it right here that they cut down. It looks like they cut these down as well. Um, but yeah, there was like several trees that, that just fell through here and it looks like I can see it in the distance. They, they've chopped it up into smaller pieces. Yeah, this is a nice forest. Look at that. With the sun coming through. It's about three o'clock right now, Wednesday. Um, in and around this area, there are a lot of abandoned homes. So for example, um, right here, this house. Well, I think it's more of like a Kind of like an apartment thing maybe there's like four apartments in this one little building but yeah it's it's abandoned it's all overgrown and um yeah, it's just like debris everywhere but uh oh check out this spider web can you see it uh, maybe it's a little too difficult with the sky behind there but anyway, uh, so here's another house right here. It's completely boarded up. It is abandoned. Uh, we need to, there's, there's, it's covered in spider, spider webs. <laughs> um, you can see like these old like dried up vines off the side of it. Uh, there's a spider right here and it's like eating. I wonder if we can um, get close and look at it. It's like an orb. Can we see it from? This angle? Oh, there. Maybe you can see it like this. It's one of those like orb weaver spiders and it's like eating a moth. <laughs> but uh, there's a bunch of them all over the side of that house. Yeah, so we have that. Oh, there's a spider web on my arm. Great. <laughs> all right. Not bad. I'm, I'm not afraid of spiders. If you are afraid of spiders, leave a comment down below. <laughs> if you are afraid of spiders, hit that like button and the subscribe button. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, so I wanted to mention something about this forest area that we're coming up to. It's actually uh, like a Boy Scout camping ground. They have this thing right here. As you can see, there's uh, the sign for the Boy Scouts. Uh, yeah, so Boy Scouts uh, do some kind of stuff here, I guess. Oh, you can kind of see part of the tree that fell. It's still there, but uh, yeah, as we come through here, this little area, we'll, we'll probably see several trees that are knocked over and lots of spider webs. That's so quiet. I love it. Love, love, love living out here. I would live further out in the country if I could, but uh, you know, I have to work in Tokyo. So, um, you know, from my house door, uh, door to door, like from, you know, home to work, it's about an hour commute. And uh, I think that's about as much as I could stand doing every day. Uh, I've done an hour and a half before when I lived in Korea. But um, yeah, that, that was tiring, <laughs> an hour and a half one way. And that included a walking, like two different buses and the subway. Uh, yeah, so 
I'm fine with uh, the way it is now. Um, there's these uh, community gardens in and around here. It's really nice. Different kinds of lettuce, taro, some herbs. But yeah, let's uh, keep going. It's all these flies. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna show it on camera, but I see why, there's a dead mouse. <laughs> They're swarming it. Oh yeah, nature guys, nature. I wish I could do a British accent very well. I would try to talk like David Attenborough. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I had to slap a mosquito off my, my leg. Um, man, I really hope these spiders are showing up. I'll have to see when I'm editing. There's just like these giant orb weavers. They're like three inches, two, three inches in size. Pretty creepy. But yeah, so uh, sometimes I'll come down through this area for a nice little walk. Uh, there's another one right in the middle of the road. Yeah, so this is a, what was I saying? Uh, this is a nice little walk for me. You know, sometimes I just want to get out and about and get some fresh air. And so I'll come down this area and check stuff out and just kind of get away. Listen to the birds. Man, there's another web like right there. All right, mosquitoes, too many mosquitoes. It's October 9th and there's mosquitoes. But uh, yeah, hopefully um, after this uh, typhoon comes, um, things cool down and the mosquitoes disappear. Oh yeah, there was a, yeah, yeah. Look at the, the damage here, the tree kind of snapped off. There's all these uh, broken trees down here. And there was some other stuff over here too, where it just, it, all the trees were knocked over by the wind, the super strong winds. Um, the winds that came through here, like look at this tree. It's uh, snapped in half, but it's still standing. Um, the winds were like 200 kilometers an hour at least that came through this area. It was like some of the strongest winds ever recorded in this uh, prefecture in Chiba. And uh, Chiba got hit the hardest. There was over 1 million homes um, that lost power and they had no power for like over a week, uh, maybe even two weeks. But, um, yeah, so the storm that's coming this weekend on my birthday is supposed to be stronger than that one. So, uh, I do have to prepare. I need to get some water TP for my bunghole. That's right. I said bunghole. And, uh, yeah, batteries and canned food, that kind of stuff. I just got to get prepared. So this week I'll be doing that. Uh, but do you guys ever uh, enjoy like nature walks like this? I know it's not like exactly like full nature, like because it is a like a concrete paved little road. The cars actually can drive through here. But um, like, do you guys enjoy hiking and stuff? Get down to the forest. Like if I could, I would camp out here but I don't think you're allowed to, unless you have like Boy Scout access or something like that, some kind of permission. Wow. All right, let's get going. It's nice and cool in here. I love that. I love that about little forests and groves and stuff. Like, you know, it's super sunny just outside of it and it's like really hot. But as soon as you step in, it's like 15 degrees cooler. 
feels like air conditioning. It's really nice. Ooh, look at this uh, root system here. I wonder if anything lives under there. There are uh, tanuki here in Japan. They're kind of like raccoon dogs. Um, if you guys know Mario, Super Mario, and he has the little raccoon tail. It's not a raccoon tail. It's a tanuki. So I don't know what they call it in English um, when he's in that form. But uh, in Japan, they call it tanuki. But uh, Korea has them too, little raccoon dogs. And uh, yeah, here they have them. I, I guarantee you there's raccoon dogs in this forest. I saw one outside of my apartment. He was um, trying to get into the trash bin. Uh, there's this kind of like, like tin and like metal, I don't, know, I don't want to call it a dump site, but maybe it is a dump site. Yeah, we're not supposed to go in, but it's just like full of trash. There's like stainless steel st uh, sinks and there's like a van in there. It's all just like corrugated tin. I'm not too sure what goes down there, but that's not the direction that we're going to be going. Um, yeah, look at this. There's like old paint cans, street signs, stop sign. Oh, there's all these aluminum cans on the ground. I didn't notice this before. So I don't know if this is just like a hoarder's place or it's like somewhere, you know, known where you can just drop off like unwanted metal things. No idea. But yeah, we're pretty much at the top of the hill. So it's not a really big hill. But on the top here, uh, because it is, you know, pretty high up above everything else in the surrounding area, there are these uh, like radio towers. I don't know. I don't think they're cellular towers, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, and then there's just this looks like a freshly plowed uh, field. The dirt looks super, for, like, like it just, they did it this morning or something. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much it for this forest area. But I like walking through there. Super chill, yeah? Oh, there's this nice uh, tree here that's like Japanese, I think it's called Japanese maple. But it's this tree right here. Yeah, so see the tower right there. There's a bunch of them over there. There's like four, five. There's another one on the corner of the field down there. Oh, and there's one right here too. No idea what they're broadcasting. Ah, so nice. Okay. So if I go straight, it actually connects over to um, the sports, like athletics field that was actually in the beginning of one of my other walking videos in this area. So um, I don't want to go that way. I want to go down this way and check out just kind of like what's around here. Nice, uh, some farming action going on in there. Not sure what they're growing. Um, oh, these are, uh, wait, are these dates? No. Like 
for example, these are brown. Uh, they're or like jujubes. Um, I forget what they're called. That could be it. Jujube? Jujube? Got some nice sunflowers. I think these are sunflowers. No. Don't think so. I could be wrong. Maybe they're just tiny sunflowers. But uh, yeah, this is pretty nice, yeah? Super cool. Super, 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 super cool. Let's, uh, oh, what is this? Sorry, I'm distracted. We've got like some kind of berries up in this piece. Yeah, imagine living up here at the top. Like in this, uh, in this house here. This is our garden. Ooh. We can see it's got a nice uh, the old like traditional Japanese style roofing, the heavy tiles on top. Yeah, let's continue forth. Okay, so we do have to walk a bit to the other area where um, the bamboo forest is, where the shrine is. Um, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get there. It might be 20 minutes or something, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get there uh, as fast as possible and just see things along the way. We'll, we'll mostly uh, see just homes and stuff, you know, just normal Japanese neighborhoods. Yeah, so. Pretty cool, huh? Um, today we're filming this with the, the new camera that I bought. Um, I figured out some of the settings, uh, you know, and adjusted it and stuff and played with it. My Ikebukuro one, um, I didn't really adjust any settings, and uh, which is why the video looks so grainy. Uh, by default, it was shooting at 3200 ISO, which is super high and uh, not necessary for that low light situation. Um, which is why the video looks so grainy. It looks like terrible. Uh, it looks really bad. But, um, oh, hello, crow. Some crows. <laughs> crow's like, get the hell out of here. Stop filming me. Um, this is a persimmon. I think they were eating that. Uh, it's hard to tell. It's a persimmon tree. It's that season, October. Ooh. Hello, spiders. Let's get close. <laughs> I actually stuck my camera in its web. I was trying to make it move, but it didn't move. Uh, here's another abandoned home. See, it's gated off. Little fence here. Can we see into the property a little bit? Man, it's all overgrown. It's a fixer-upper. Oh I'm just like freaking out. There's just so many spider webs. Like, I'm not afraid of spiders, but it is kind of like terrifying looking, <laughs> I guess, which is uh, pretty cool. It fits the whole like October spooky theme. All we need now is some scary Japanese ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? That's a pretty neat archway over the, this entrance gate. Yeah, so they're actually training the tree to grow across all the way. So it's only about halfway. But over, I don't know how long it's going to take, a couple years maybe, but it's going to go all the way across. It's going to be a nice little entryway. Yeah, so along the walk we're seeing a few people, but not, not many. 
and uh, not many cars at all. Where's that crow? Oh, here they go. Hmm. Okay, so let's continue forth. Man, those mosquitoes got me good. My, both my arms and my knee and my shins and my ankle. And I came through here one time with my friend Jeff when he was visiting Japan. He stayed at my house for three weeks and, uh, in August. And one of the days we actually came through this forest and we got mauled <laughs> by mosquitoes, like instantly mauled by mosquitoes. I love that blue. It's almost like a turquoise blue. Oh, I hear a car. There we go. All right, so uh, in one of my previous walking videos that I was talking about, where we walked by the, sp uh, where it started off at the athletics field, um, in that video, we came across a place that was, you know, like kind of like a museum filled with uh, all those like antique farming equipment things from like the Edo period and later. And it had like a pistol in there and uh, the, the pumpkin art that was uh, um, that had paintings on it. Yeah, so we're right there. If you guys remember this, the blue Godzilla. Yeah, it's a kindergarten's like playground. So if you remember that, that's where um, we are right now. So this was featured in that other video. If you want to see that other video, um, I'll have a, a little link to it right here. You guys can click it or find it in the description box down below. Uh, this tree, I don't know, it's, it's hard to see. There's a big tree that got knocked over here. Uh, it's all like blown blown out the contrasts all right let's go <clears throat> nope chainsaw yeah so this uh, big building here is the Matsudo city's uh, general hospital huge huge hospital and uh, there's this uh, farming area just outside of it right here. There's this huge field. I can see these workers in it. Uh, this looks like uh, leeks, just like a whole crap ton of leeks. <laughs> this is awesome. It smells really good. Wow, look at that. Yeah, so they're covering it with uh, netting right now, red netting. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Super cool. All right, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna kind of make our way over there. Like we're just gonna cut straight across uh, towards those trees and then we're gonna go down into this little, uh, kind of like a valley area. And uh, down in that valley area is where that bamboo grove is and the shrine. So let's see how long it takes us to get there. We're kind of reaching back into like civilization. There's um, like a pharmacy right here. Oh man, it's so backlit from the sun. Uh, here we've got like a little local clinic. I changed my stabilizer mode so it's not like swinging up and down. We're just looking straight right now. Yeah, 
so from here, I'm gonna go straight. But I do have to cross, cross a street or two. Yeah, this is a big like five-way intersection. Let's wait. Um, over down this road, there's a tunnel. Uh, that like, there's a tunnel down there, and it connects over through to the other side. There's more uh, like farm fields and stuff. It's like quiet back roads. All right, it's green. Let's go. sunglasses on it's very bright out here okay so um, I do want to go straight but there's a something I think I just crossed the road and I wasn't supposed to oops <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me take a look. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, let's go this way. There's there's something down here in this direction that I want to show you guys. It was very interesting. Um, my friend Jeff and I discovered it. Oh, well, I'll talk about it when we get to it. Yeah, we're going to go through a tunnel. Might be a boring few minutes here while we go through the tunnel but uh, it was an interesting discovery on the other side I promise I promise I promise and it deals with animals like pets it deals with pets so if you guys love pets and are curious about something related to pets in Japan uh, we should go look at it right now all right and I think uh, speed up this boring process, we're going to fast forward. All right, we made it to the other side, guys. Um, whoa, what's down there? Okay, it's probably a dead end. Um, we're going to go this way. And then uh, right here at this uh, mart, this is called Mami Mart. Um, <laughs> kind of a funny name, Mami Mart. But uh, at Mommy Mart, there's a road that runs next to it, and that's where we're going to walk. And that's going to actually connect over to the area where the bamboo forest and stuff is. So, um, yeah, I think we've been going for about 30-something minutes-ish, roughly. Yeah, so Mommy Mart. What is Mommy Mart? It's a supermarket. It's actually really cool. Um, I kind of want to film in there, but not today. Not, not during this walk. But uh, they have so many bento options in there. And they have the largest liquor and alcohol section I've ever seen in Japan. Um, it's really nice, actually. The selection is so nice. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going here. Yeah, so the super important... So the cool thing that I wanted to show you guys related to pets is actually right in front of us. It is a pet cemetery. It's a pet cemetery. If you're a cat, dog, turtle, bird, lizard, ferret, you know, fish, whatever, um, when they pass away, you can have them uh, cremated. And so, these are all the different names. Mari, Koro, Eru, Riku, Ruby, Domo. Yeah, so 
a lot of the pet names here. These are like different blessings for the pets. And then there's um, inside here, there's like an altar, a little altar that you can go in there and pray. And uh, I'm not sure what else is in the facility. But yeah, uh, just out of respect, I'm not gonna go in it. But um, I thought this was like a pretty cool thing. I've never seen like a cemetery kind of a thing like dedicated purely for pets. With all these pet names on the side. Momo, Mimi, Musashi, Rami. Um, but yeah, they, this is uh, I think where they do the um, cremation. So you can see these uh, chimneys, there's two of them. Yeah, so that was it. That was the, the thing that I wanted to show you guys. Okay, let's continue walking. Um, down this way, there's a few abandoned homes also. For example, uh, I actually shared this house right here on my Instagram stories back in August. Uh, but this place is abandoned. Like this is their walkway, or I guess their little par uh, parking area. Can you park here? Maybe. Um, but yeah, it's all overgrown. And this is like a modern looking house. Like it looks nice. It looks new. Why is it abandoned? I have no clue. No idea. Could be like foreclosure or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep walking. There's this uh, cool uh, kind of like retaining wall for the hillside here. And uh, it's covered in moss, which actually looks really cool. Yeah, so the entire wall. Uh, yeah, so some of these homes are occupied, like this one here with the car. But then the one next door is completely abandoned. Yeah, look at this. It's all just like decrepit, run down. There's a bike lock used to lock the door and it's tied off with a rope. So I'm not sure why, but that, that is the, the situation that house is in. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I was hoping to finish this video within an hour, but I have a feeling it's gonna go over just one hour. <laughs> those birds are so noisy. I hear those kind of birds sometimes outside of my apartment. Not too bad though. Um, the last time I came through here with uh, my friend Jeff, we saw this funny sign. I can't, I think they took it down unless we didn't, I didn't come to it yet, but uh, it was um, aimed at foreigners to like not commit crimes. And it was essentially like saying, uh, we're like watching you. So, you know, don't break the law. Oh, this is it right here. Okay. <laughs> Look at that in English. We are watching you. Even has a Vietnamese, Korean, and Chinese. Look at those eyes. <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? All right. Let's keep going. I wish I could bring you guys along with me, like for real, <laughs> like not just through a video. But uh, for those of you who can't make it here, I'm glad that you guys can live vicariously through my walking videos and uh, see these areas of Japan. It's kind of like back areas. 
you know tourists usually stick to the like city area or some other various areas but we're like in a completely non-touristy area so there's like no reason for tourists to even come in this vicinity and uh this is the stuff i want to share with you guys the stuff you'll never see in anyone else's video real japan not that other parts of japan aren't real but you understand what i'm saying I do apologize for a lot of the, the contrast issues right now. It's, um, I think it's just with the lighting situation. It's like nice and sunny and then in the shadows, it's just like super dark. Um, hopefully in post, I can kind of fix that situation so you guys can see a little bit more detail. scene. Wow, look at this house. I think this is abandoned too. It's just overgrown. It's in like bad shape. Uh, we're going to go up this way. I wonder how much it is to live out here in this area. Probably not too different from where I live. Um, I would say like from this area exactly where we're at now to my house, it's like maybe a, maybe a 20 minute walk, 30 minute walk. Oh God, the sun, it's so bright. Ah, the last time I came through here, there were a lot of street cats. There were so many street cats in and around here. Oh. There's one right there. Can you see it? It's just hanging out. Look, kitty. But uh, someone feeds them. There's like this pan here and they put food out. Um, yeah, last time I was here, there was like seven or eight cats just all roaming around. Uh, this guy's on alert. Yep. He's like, peace. I'm out of here. Kind of sucks that they're all like skittish like that. Because I would go and pet it if I could. Uh, whoa, look at this car. This car has seen better days. here oh hello shrine how are you let's go take a look this is a Shinto shrine and uh, actually the the gate is made of steel this is actual metal what I've never seen that before usually it's a uh, wood or stone that's the first time I've ever seen it like metal Wow. So yeah, neighborhood shrine. Very nice. Okay. Let's keep going. We're on a mission, guys. To the bamboo. Bamboo forest. So, um, I know my last video was a walking video and probably the one before that was a walking video and this one's a walking video. So I do apologize. It's only been walking videos. Uh, they're just easy to do. I don't need to edit much, but, uh, I do want to make a, 
a non-walking video for you guys soon. Um, I'm just trying to think of what it might be. Maybe people watching or something like that. Or maybe some food. Yeah, it's been a while since I've made a food video, so been out of touch with that. I'm very rusty. So yeah, might have to do that. Um, which way am I going? Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, well, there's a pink house. Okay, the reason I want to go this way is because I know there's a, um, there's a, a car down here. I don't know if it's going to be there still, but, um, so there's like this apartment complex right here, this one, it's on a hillside, kind of just like, uh, my apartment. So like on the street level is actually like, you know, maybe the third floor. And then if you go to the back side, um, you can see the lower floors, but uh, there's this interesting house. Yeah, so we're going to uh, go down this pathway here. There's this house right here. It's kind of like a, it almost looks like a log cabin or something. It's like someone's summer home or something like that. But they, yeah, so you can see it's kind of nice. It's all like wood siding and stuff, but they have this car right here. It's the Lambo, the Lamborghini. How random is that? We're so far from the city and there's just like a Lamborghini parked right there. Interesting, right? Okay, wow. Oh man, we're looking right at the sun, so it's gonna be really hard to see details, but we're going in that direction. We're going towards those trees. That's where the, the forest is. Yeah, so see, this is the backside of the apartment. So the street on the front is like, you know, probably up to there. And then there's these lower floors. So my apartment is just like this too. And I actually, uh, in at my apartment building, I live on the top floor, but from the street level, it's only one floor up. It, um, the backside is a hill and it goes down four, four stories, I think, maybe even five stories. Yeah, but it's on top of a hill, so. Um, yeah, that's my situation. Uh, let's see. Regular homes. Uh, I think school's out right now. Yeah, today's Wednesday. What is it? It's like almost four. It's almost four o'clock. So these kids are getting off school. And that's a very common uh, uh, school uniform, like elementary, uh, kindergarten, first grade, all that stuff. Uh, they wear those like yellow, uh, little yellow hats. And uh, I think that's a really great idea. It makes them very visible to uh, drivers and whatnot. Okay, should I go this way? Yeah, okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh my God, I gotta put my sunglasses back on. It's so bright. try to stick to the shade over here on the left side of the road out of the sun that's not really working is it all right um, this is kind of neat this home front it's like this bamboo structure on it I don't know what that's all about there's just like a little quiet little alley Yeah, chill. Ooh, I like that blue color. 
Oh, it's like a green, like a sea foam green. Sorry, not blue. Um, what else is here in this area? Uh, I think I gotta go this way. Yeah, oh, there's uh, these trees here. This is um, chestnut. We got chestnut trees. And we can see there's a, uh, they're collecting the chestnut. You can see the piles. Wait, hold on, maybe there's a branch in the way. But you can see the piles of uh, the chestnuts down there. They're um, in, in oh, it's hard to see through the fencing. Uh, but in there, there's like, see, there's these different piles. Like there's one there, there's one here. And there's a bunch like over in the, the dirt too. So yeah, it's chestnut season, guys. Do you like chestnuts? Let me know. Yeah, so this is Japan, guys, where you get like modern homes next to some kind of older homes. And then sometimes you get like really traditional old school Japanese style homes like mixed in. They're just like all mixed together out here. Nice garden. Okay, we're almost there, folks. Hang tight. It's right there. There we go, we're in the shade, out of the direct sunlight. Whew, nice. Oh, these are nice flowers. Pretty. So we've kind of reached our destination, sorta. Um, but it's all up in here. In here, I think there's like two shrines. I think, according to a map, uh, the map, I should say. But they're building a, a new house right here. It's kind of nice. The nice bamboo grove right behind it. Some of it was knocked over. You can see it snapped. That's probably from the, the typhoon that came a few weeks ago. All right, I'm trying to uh, do this and end the video before I have to change batteries. I'm getting a, an 18%, oh, 17% battery warning. Um, but I do have a spare battery. But I'm trying to see if I can do it in one go without changing batteries. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. Okay, are you ready? Okay. So over here, there's these really old Japanese homes. Um, I mean, like old, old. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see like much detail.
from far away, you know, without like not going onto their property. But uh, there's an old one here. But up here on the right, there's an even older one. Might have to do some editing magic to like zoom in. But this is their, uh, like the house's entryway, the entry gate. This is pretty cool, right? And they have a nice like courtyard area with a huge roof. And then on the left side is this really old house. Like on the siding, the, the insulation is like straw, like hay straw and like mud and stuff compacted in there between the boards. It's like super old traditional Japanese house. Yeah, on this property here. And they are nestled within this pretty cool bamboo grove. So we can't really go in here. It's considered trespassing. Um, if I go past this little gate here. Oh, that's so nice. Oh wow, and with the, the sun going down a little bit, like it's reflecting, or not reflecting, but shining through. Like that just looks so awesome. Let's try to get some more, more bamboo shots. And then go up to the shrine. So nice, so nice. So let's see in here. Yeah, so we're on the back side of that old house. All right. Let's uh let's go find the shrine. Pretty sure it's this way. I looked at a map before I started the video and it said that there was a shrine here. These wide steps. I gotta take some long strides here. Eleven percent battery. <laughs> Can we do it? Probably not, but it's all good. Well, maybe we're at the shrine. So you can come in from the street over there and then walk in. There's these uh, nice old markers, stone markers and other things here. This is pretty cool. I wish I knew what it meant. We are entering the spirit realm of this shrine. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, man, this is so nice. Very peaceful. Some more stone markers and stuff over here. Pretty old. A lot of the kanji that's carved into it is like worn down. 
uh, on the back side there's a small little shrine thing right there uh, let's see if we can see anything over here I think that's a, a toilet right there like an outhouse And then uh, we can look down into the, the bamboo. From here. Yeah, very nice, huh? Oh, I just realized there's this bamboo that fell over onto the, the outhouse. So I think this is actually a good place to end the video, guys, uh, with only 5% left on the battery. We didn't have to change the battery, um, but we had the spare one just in case. But we've been going for about an hour and four minutes. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and watching this video. Uh, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Was there some uh, pretty interesting things that you saw? Uh, do you have questions about anything? Um, you know, feel free to ask me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out of here. And uh, we've got people coming to visit, so I'm going to try to respect them. Meet you out. Yeah, so he's gonna go pray or something. Oh God, I'm blind. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and head out of here, guys. Um, I just realized my mic looks like it's pulling down my shirt. Oh, did you hear that? He's clapping, clapping. I mean, I think he's gonna ring the bell too. Uh, too bad we can't film it right now. Uh, that's gonna have to be something I'll, I'll film like at a much larger temple, uh, somewhere like in Tokyo, maybe like Nezu or something like that. One of those like really wonderful shrines and uh, show you kind of like the process. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, once again, thank you so much for the 70,000 subscriber milestone on the seventh anniversary of my channel. Amazing, guys, amazing. So um, uh, if you guys want to uh, see more of me or interact with me more, uh, follow me on social media. I have um, a Facebook, which I don't really use, but I do have an Instagram that I use often. And uh, I also stream to Twitch, and I'm active on Twitter. So all of that information is going to be here uh, right now on the screen. So make sure you go ahead and follow me there. It's probably the best place where you can, you know, ask me questions, reach out to me, see stuff in my daily life that you won't see on YouTube at all. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.